are really shaken. Sorry about that, guys. You're on my laptop. Um, hi, everyone. <laughs> Moise, you're back on another video. Today, we're doing a Shein clothing and accessories haul. So, without further ado, I think we're going to start with accessories, and then I'll get up and I'll show you the outfits. We don't have a lot today. It'll be quick. But for me, I talk a lot, so let's actually start. <laughs> um, so, first things first is hair accessories. I got these two clips. I think these are going to be really cute, especially when my hair is messy. I like to throw it on, throw it up into a bun. And I like this idea about being able to just like clip my hair in the back because I usually use like really cute scrunchies. These are from Amazon, for example. Love these. But I want to try something new. I also got a scrunchie from Shein as well. <laughs> and it looks like this. It's really cute. It's a um, sheer kind of scrunchie and inside is like a pride flag. And I really like that. That's really adorable. And it has these really cute flowers embroidered on it. And I think this is like a really different style for me and it's really stunning, it's beautiful and I'm really getting excited to wear it. I think it's like 75 cents. Everything, if it's still available, will be linked down below. Don't fall. Next, we have an earring set and for this, I'll take it out just because it's easier to see earrings when they're not in a bag. So, one already fell out. We love that. Um, it's fine. It's literally fine. But these are the rest of the earrings. Um, the one that fell out was one of the snake earrings that looks like this. It's super cute. I'll probably just like re-put it back in the loop because it seems like it just fell out and the loop opened. So I can use like a tweezer and close it up. I love these white ones. Like look how cute. Love these. And then these butterfly ones and these pearls and these hoops. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. I tend to not wear earrings a lot. And when I do, I wear them until they're basically like no longer any good so i hope i'm going to use them soon because if i don't then i'll be very sad and i'll have wasted my money which i tend to do when i shop online so let's hope that i don't do that again next we have a whole bunch of headbands <laughs> it would not go in my head like this don't worry because that will look kind of ridiculous on me and now it's in my eye we love to see it we love to see it we really do anyway i got a set of three and i'll take these out as well so these are the three. I got them in a set of green. You could get them in other colors, but I just thought that these were really pretty. I love that you get three different styles. If you're not a pattern person, I don't know how much you'll love them. I, in particular, love the light green with like the small flowers. And then I do also like this more like Gangnam style one. It's really cute. Um, yeah, so these are really good really sturdy and it seems that they just kind of hot glued pieces of fabric around the base so I don't think these will be coming apart anytime soon which I also really appreciate and last thing these are already kind of hung up so I have a few that I haven't hung up so I'll be able to show you but I got a photo card set for like four dollars on Shein it's over there um my hair's a mess don't talk about it I just came back to New York from Boston so Five hour ride in a car is not a not time, but I got these really cute ones. The sayings are nice. Some sayings are weird, so we don't read all the sayings. We don't read all the sayings, folks. We don't. But I just got them in a set of blue, and I kind of stacked them up on my wall over there. I'll insert like a video or a picture here. I really like these for decorating my room. I was watching a Samantha Jo video, and she did something similar, and it inspired me to do that. I'm also going to use some photo cards on my closet wall as well as my bedroom door just to line things up too. So I'm really excited to get more uses and order more of these. I really like these. All right, let's get into the outfit. All right, I can't show you a lot just because of the way everything is set up. I'm probably gonna need to get a tripod for this room so I can show you clothes a little bit better. But for now, we're gonna be like here. Um, I'll probably zoom in for the tops, but we got these jogger sweatpants kind of things. If I can hold my leg up, that's what they look like. That was not long enough for me, sorry, right? I don't have talent, but I will try to be chillier for you. All right, notice what the pants look like. Um, I'm five four, and they come to the ankle, and there's a little bit of gathering. So I think this is really good if you're like five five, five six maybe. If you're taller, I'm not sure how it might look on you. Um, but it does have this annoying feature for me in the pockets, where since it's not double lined, even though it's very thick, like very fleecy winter fabric, you can see the outline 
of the pockets if it's a very bright sunny day and I don't like that personally just because I feel like it makes it look cheap so I would probably pull the pockets out and try to make them not look weird from the side and have it feel and look a little bit more seamless from the front. This is this cute crop top. I got it because I was feeling my Bratz vibe. I was like, ooh, Chloe from Bratz would totally wear a top like this. And she would, but <laughs> it looks like this. It's really cute. I just, I'm really excited to start pairing it with stuff because I got this first and I haven't been able to wear it. All right, let me show you the matching top to the sweatsuit. Okay, so this is a little large and it's big on even me, like, what? So this is the top. If I just, I'm just gonna cinch it a little bit so it fits properly, but the arms are kind of huge and still a little loose. But this is what the top looks. I think it's a cute set. Again, my only issue is the pockets of the pants. <laughs> Yeah, but I really like it. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it though. Like, I don't know the vibes. Like, where would you wear something like this? So, but yeah, this is the top. It's very good quality as well. It's not see-through, it's not sheer. It's very stretchy, it's very thick. Especially me in my 80 degree apartment with no AC. But this is what it looks like. So this is the next top. I would definitely not wear this with my sports bra currently because you can see it very visibly. So I'd probably wear like a very thin bra because the strap isn't thick enough to really cover if you were having a bra that's more than like half an inch thick. So if you have bigger boots, I'm not sure if this top would work for you just because your bra, unless you're okay with wearing like a sticky bra or a strapless bra, I don't know. But I like the top. I think it's definitely something that hugs every part of your figure. So I would wear it like under a skirt, like my black skirt in my thrifted haul, I would definitely wear the black skirt with this so that way people wouldn't see every kind of dent, lump, lump kind of situation here. Um, and they would kind of just see like a really cute set. So I do like this. I think I know how to style it, but this is what it looks like. If you like it, let me know down below. And yeah, it's not that bad. All right, so this next set, right? Let me see how far back I can go. Maybe I won't need to be so I won't. Okay. So this next set looks like this. The skirt literally ends right where it is on camera, so I'll come in a little bit more. But this set is the skirt with like these suspenders. They literally do nothing. They they can just dangle if you prefer. Ooh, dangling might be cute with these actually. But um it looks like this. And it holds something that does nothing. It doesn't shape you. So if you're someone who likes a skirt but shape, probably not for you. It's very everything on show. Again, if you're not someone who's into things like that. This top has no, like this is the front and this is the back kind of tag. So you just kind of have to guess. And it's super cropped, it literally ends right here. So if you're someone who doesn't like crop tops that end under your boobs, this probably, <laughs> is not the top for you. It is super cute though, I really like it, but I just don't know like if I could wear it with jeans, I have to wear it with joggers because my joggers do end up going this high and I can't wear it with the skirt because the skirt is literally under my butt, if I can tell you. It's like right under and I just think maybe I should not be doing that in New York where, yeah. But yeah, this is the set. I think it's really cute though. Picnic, date maybe, maybe brunch. I love this top. I love it, but squeezing my head into this was not fun. If you are gonna wear this top, don't do your hair and makeup before, you'll absolutely despise it. If your head is bigger than mine, don't get this top because honestly, it was a struggle. I'm in it. I don't wanna get out of it because I don't wanna do the work but I really like it. I think this is another top with like joggers thing, but like maybe camo joggers with this would be really cool. This is a very street style of a top. It's super short as well. It's a little bit longer than the purple one. So take your pick, but I really like it. It just makes me feel like very like, I could be edgy in this or I could be very girly in this. I really like it. It's a turtleneck mock neck in the back as well. No surprises. I really like this one. I think it just looks really cute. This one, I'll show you a better way to style it here. So yeah, that's a better way to style it. 
don't style it with the skirt or any skirt i don't think and this is a faux kind of corset top obviously it does nothing it has no structure it's a t-shirt um but it looks like this and i like it if i feel insensitive about my arms no if i'm feeling sensitive about my arms not insensitive because i can just cover them up I like it because you can cover up your arms kind of thing. So if you have like big arms, I think it's a nice thing because no one will be able to see it. You'll feel like more comfortable, more confident. Because I felt more confident and comfortable when I wore it out for the first time, so I do recommend it. Um, I do think if you want it for this corseting detail, it does nothing. It looks like nothing. It's a detail that will just flap in the wind. So don't buy it for that. Buy it for those sleeves. If you're buying this, it's for the sleeves. Um, but yeah, so this is this last top. I like it. I just think this is more of a jeans, not a skirt type situation. But I think it's cute. I just, it's very simple. So I don't have much to say about it. Let me take a seat. Hello. Um, so I forgot one last item, which was this. And this was like 90 cents. And it was supposed to be like a little bag pack like chain but i don't know if i have the confidence to put this on my backpack as a graduate student in university and not have people look at me and be like this girl's childish <laughs> but it's so cute look at her ah oh, love it i might just not hang it over here somewhere on my desk or something because it's really cute and i do want to keep it um but yeah that was the last item that i forgot totally about um if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment share, and subscribe let me know down below if you have any retailers you want me to try and shop at um remember small channel broke college student vibes it's really a time if you only try doing a thrifting haul in new york because my last thrifting haul was in like hollywood miami florida let me know because i would definitely be down to do a thrifting haul in new york and see the difference other than that i will see you all in the next one bye